This message is brought to you by the Taxpayer Advocate Service. Your voice at the IRS. Hello, I'm Nina Olson, the National Taxpayer Advocate. I lead the Taxpayer Advocate Service, and we're bringing you a series of consumer tax tips to help you understand some important tax issues you may be facing. This series focuses on IRS audits, which are also called examinations. I know the word audit may sound intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. I hope this overview helps demystify the exam process. If the IRS audits your tax return, it does not mean you made a mistake or were dishonest. It just means the IRS is trying to determine if your income, expenses, and credits are being reported accurately. About four out of five audits are done by correspondents. In cases like this, you may get a notice asking you to explain a single item on your return. In some cases, the IRS may ask you to appear and bring your records for a face-to-face -face interview. However, all audits follow the same general approach. First, the IRS sends you a letter to notify you of the audit. The letter will include IRS Publication 1, Your Rights as a Taxpayer, which explains the audit process and describes your rights, including your right to appeal if you disagree with the IRS's decision about what it thinks you owe. I will cover your appeal rights in a later video. In most cases, the letter tells you what the examination will cover and asks for documentation to support the items on your return. If you receive a notice that the IRS is auditing your return, please don't ignore it and hope that it will go away. You can help yourself a great deal by reading the enclosed publication so you understand the process and then by giving the IRS the information it wants as soon as possible. The IRS will complete the examination even if you don't respond. If you don't send records or documentation to support the items in question, the IRS will assume you earned more income or had fewer expenses and credits than you claimed on the return. The IRS will then take steps to adjust the tax on your return. To learn more about how to respond to an audit, you can read about the process yourself or go to a qualified tax advisor. If you are a low-income taxpayer, or if English is not your first language, you may want to discuss your case with a low-income taxpayer clinic. Low-income taxpayer clinics are independent organizations that represent low-income taxpayers before the IRS and help guide them through the audit process for free or for a small charge. Many low-income taxpayer clinics can also provide multilingual information about your rights and responsibilities as a taxpayer. IRS Publication 4134, Low Income Taxpayer Clinic List, provides contact information for clinics in your area. To learn more about the examination process, look over the publications included with your initial contact letter. For correspondence examinations, IRS Publication 3498A, The Examination Process, Examinations by Mail, provides a good overview of the process and your rights as a taxpayer. You can find this and Publication 4134, the list of low-income taxpayer clinics, on the IRS website at www.irs.gov. If you still have questions, call the IRS toll-free at 1-800-829-1040 or visit an IRS Taxpayer Assistance Center. These centers offer over-the-phone interpreter assistance in more than 170 languages. Telephone help is available using TTY-TDD equipment by calling 1-800-829-4059. If you have a tax problem that is causing you financial difficulty or significant cost, or you have tried to resolve your issue through normal IRS channels without success, you can come to the Taxpayer Advocate Service. We're an independent organization within the IRS, so our people know the system and can help you navigate it. We will listen to your problem, help you understand what needs to be done to resolve it, and stay with you every step of the way until your problem is resolved. We have at least one local taxpayer advocate office in each state, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. 
You can call your local advocate whose number is in your phone book or call our toll-free case intake line at 1-877-ASK-TAS-1, A-S-K-T-A-S-1, or 1-877-275-8271. Remember, you have rights as a taxpayer that the IRS must abide by in its dealings with you. To learn more about your rights, you can visit our website at www.irs.gov advocate and click on Tax Toolkit. I hope this information helps. Thank you, and remember, the Taxpayer Advocate Service is your voice at the IRS.